What is up everyone? Welcome back to Base Damage. Hope you're all doing well. And today we have a trial by fire for the Spy X family trial deck. Uh, it dropped just recently along with the booster set as well. Uh, so I wanted to do a quick trial by fire for it. I will admit I actually have not picked up this particular trial deck. So this is just kind of a preliminary thing. Uh, once I actually end up picking it up and taking a look at it, I will try to do something a little bit more refined. Uh, as well as uh, doing something a little bit different today, as you can see by the unlimited tab works up top. Uh, Going to be showing off a couple recommendations and some uh, singles and stuff that you could get if you wanted to just update uh, and upgrade the trial deck itself. So let's hop right into it. Uh, it is yellow and green with a choice trigger and gold bar for the climax combos. There is a plus two soul that comes in the trial deck, but you know, do what you want with that. <laughs> but starting with nerve wracking interview Anya. So three, two, nine K. If you have two or more other Berlint characters, this gets plus 2,500 power and character encore, uh, specifically Berlint character. So, but I believe that's the entire set. Uh, when this card is placed on stage from your hand, you can draw a card, discard a card, and then bounce one of your opponent's characters back to their hand. So a little bit of disruption there, but obviously if they have Hexproof, it doesn't matter, but it's whatever. Anyway, four copies of that. Four copies of the Climax combo. Uh, Fake Family, Lloyd, and Anya, and Yor. Is a 3-2-10k. When this is placed on stage from your hand, you may put the top card of your clock into your waiting room. You know, it heals. There you go. When this card attacks, if Family Full of Secrets, which is the gold bar, is in your climax area and you have two or more other Berlint characters, you can pay the cost, which is uh, one stock and one card from hand. If you do deal three damage to your opponent, it is borderline a last shot seen on. It's just three damage instead of four, but it's also like a cheaper cost. So I'm like, okay, cool. That's just like, honestly, that's fairly solid. Like, I actually kind of like it for a uh, trial deck uh, finisher. So. Uh, then we have, going into the level 2s, we have 3 copies of Favor Your is a 217k. On attack, she gets X power times the number of other Berlint characters you have, which is uh, max of 4, so time 1,000 is uh, plus 4k. She can get up to an 11k, which is still fairly sizable, in addition to having a uh, character encore. so Pretty cool there. 3 copies of that. Two copies of For the Sake of Peace Lloyd is a 2-1-35. Uh, this is a level assist in front, so uh, 500 times the level of the character in front of it. It gets that big of a buff. As well as it has an act to rest himself, look at the top card of your deck, put it on top of your deck or into your waiting room, and all of your other fake family, the level 3 that we just talked about, get plus 1,000 power and the ability until end of turn that during this card's battle, your opponent cannot play back up from their hand, which is just absolutely crazy to me. So, I mean, there you go. Like, this is just a really good card overall, uh, especially if you are doing that that kind of a finisher. Like, I, I feel this is a like, necessity, and you just have to tap it. So, so he can give a real big buff. It's just This is just a good card. You need to have it. That's going to be it for the twos. Going to the ones, uh, there were several really good level one greens, but I mostly just wanted to kind of like have some kind of a power bump in here. So we went with the vanilla because there's a bond that literally bonds <laughs> uh, with her and gives her a big buff. She's a 117k vanilla, very simple. Uh, but this one, this happy bond right here gives a buff to her. So... Your level one climax combo, bleh, your level one climax combo of the deck is uh, Telepath Anya. It's a one zero forty five. If you have two or more other Berlant characters, she gets a thousand power, so she'll be a constant fifty five. At the beginning of your encore step, if Fun Times is in your climax area, this and this card is in your center stage, you have two or more other Berlant characters, and there is a either a reversed battle opponent or no character facing her. You search your deck for a Berlin character and add it to your hand. It's very reminiscent of the Fever mechanic. Uh, not completely and totally, but it's very, very similar in terms of either you basically you do have to reverse the battle opponent, or if there's or if it's an open lane, you still get the search. So it is kind of cool. Uh, it's not the worst in the world, but I do feel it's just like a lot of restrictions. So it's just whatever. 
but regardless you can still use it and still get some fun out of it next we have two copies of entrance examination your is a 1 1 2k backup when you use the cards backup if all of your characters are bro lynch you can put the top card of your deck into your stock so it does blind stock but it pays for itself it also has a crit trigger in case you do trigger the choice and you want to add it to hand that is it for the ones going to the level zeros. We have a free runner sitting on you as a 002k at the beginning of your opponent's attack phase. You can move her to an open position of your center stage. So, very nice. I feel you need to have four of. In the toilet bond, <laughs> he had to poo. <laughs> so, that was so funny. So, 0015, uh, global 500 to all other Berlin characters. And when this card or one of your other Berlin characters is placed on the stage from your hand, you can look at the top card of your deck. You had to put it right back, but you get to see what the top card is. It's kind of useful. The bond we were talking about before is Happy Bond. It's a 001k. All of your other Promise Anya get 1500 power and character encore. As well as on play, you can pitch a card to grab back a Promise Anya from waiting room to your hand. So, a little bit of uh, extra little... Uh, buff there is going to put her to an 85 with character on core, which is fairly sizable for a level one. Let's be real. Three copies of the Brainstormer Seeking a Daughter Twilight 00500. Uh, two act abilities. The Brainstorm is a pay one rest itself to mill five for each climax, draw one card. The other is spammable, and you don't have to tap himself for it. You get to pay one to draw a card and then discard a card. So you get to filter and get set up. It's it's kind of nice, even though, you know, obviously the Brainstorm effect is not the best in the world. You do want something a little bit better, but, you know, do work with what you got. Four copies of Moment at Home Lloyd. Uh, it's very simply a on-play uh, pay one, pitch one, two, search your deck for a Berlant character. So, very simple and very fun. I, I feel definitely want to maximize on the number of copies of this uh, so that you can get your level ones and your level threes for your combos. So, two copies of Assassin Yor. This is a 002k. If all of your characters are Berlant, this gets 1500 power and the following ability. When the battle opponent becomes reversed, you can choose a Berlant character in your waiting room, return it to your hand, and then you choose one card in your hand and discard it. So, uh, just really good to be able to grab some stuff back really early on. So, two copies of Operation Strix is a uh, one zero yellow event. Put four cards from the top of your deck into your waiting room. Choose up to one level X or lower Berlant character from your waiting room. Return it to your hand. X is equal to the total number of crit trigger icons in the four cards that you milled. So, uh, just really nice uh, to help get a little bit of deck speed. Even though this does do searching, you can still like try to get back some of your level zeros or something to salvage. Just very nice. That is going to be it for the deck. Obviously, like I said, four copies of the Choice Trigger, Fun Times, and four copies of Family Full of Secrets. So that is going to be it for the deck. But now we're going to go over to TCG Player. I wanted to point out a couple really good singles and whatnot that you could pick up, uh, mostly just because they're so cheap. And this is, you know, you can put these in and kind of change, uh, change around the deck as you see fit. This is a very good one I wanted to immediately talk about. Uh, which is good mood Anya. Uh, for one, this is, I believe, the climax swapper of the set. Uh, if there's another one I didn't notice, it's it's all good, but I mostly just tried to look in yellow and green to see what I could grab. Uh, but it's also only going for 30 cent as a rare, so definitely good to pick up. It also has a on play, you can pitch one to salvage back a particular event from your waiting room, which is uh, Killer Punch Trained by a Mother, which is this event. Um, it's 22 cent. Read it at your own uh, convenience. It's got a lot of nice little effects and stuff, but uh, it, it may not be for everybody. You can still run her just for the climax swap effect. So we have first Stella Anya, which does a couple different things. First off, she is a mill runner, which uh, you do have to mill specifically a Berlant character. So you may want to take the events out if you run this card. Uh, but she has a very interesting effect of when your climax is placed on your climax area, you can pay one, look at up to four cards from the top of your deck, add a Berlant character amongst them to your hand, put the rest into your waiting room. Just a really nice little extra uh, advantage engine on a rare, and it's only 44 cent. I was like, you know what? I've got to talk about it. So, pretty cool. 
Uh, I noticed this one is a double rare, so it is a little bit pricier. It is about $3 a piece. Obviously, this is all at the time of recording this, which I am recording this shortly after the set has dropped. The overall prices of just the double rares are not the worst in the world. Like, obviously, if you're trying to go for, like, the Brainstormer Anya, like, yeah, good luck with that. Um, but most of the other double rares are floating around like $3 or so or less. So it just kind of depends on what, what you want to build. Uh, but this one in particular is a can early play itself. And there's no early play in the trial deck. So this is very useful to be able to pick up. If your waiting room has two, or, ugh, if your waiting room has two or less climax, this gets minus one level in your hand. It has a couple other really good effects. But I'm just saying it is a fairly decent early play thing. Um, so just wanted to point that out. Uh, it does have like <laughs> it does let you heal and uh, stuff like that. So uh, we're going to go to the next one. This is the anti change of the set. It's a uh, two one twenty five hundred backup. When you use this card's backup, you can pay two and sack a character from your stage uh, to choose one of your opponent's characters with a level higher than their level. Put it into their waiting room. Only twenty two cent. Very good. It's an uncommon. Definitely grab it. Uh, then we have Father and Daughter, Lloyd and Anya. I thought this was kind of interesting because of the on-play effect. It's a pay one, pitch one on play to look at up to three cards from the top of the deck. Choose up to one card amongst them, put into your hand, put the rest into the waiting room. Uh, it's only 22 cents as an uncommon, so it, it could be run because you get to dig for any card if you do end up making a deck that is a bit more event-centric or something. You know, it could be very useful. You also can grab climaxes with it, so just saying. Uh, then we have Anya in a coat. Uh, the main thing for this is she is a drop salvager. Uh, so, so you already have searching with, uh, one, the drop searcher, obviously, for the trial deck, as well as the level one combo. So trying to even maybe put this in here is a common 22 cent. Uh, if you wanted to put this in the deck, you could have a way to, you know, grab stuff from the waiting room and everything since there's not a whole bunch of other stuff in the trial deck that lets you grab from the waiting room to begin with so uh and like i said a lot of the double rares are very cheap uh that's up to you these two are the most expensive in the entire thing but you know it's your i'll give a pass on that and i just wanted to point those out real quick uh thank you all very much for watching it is greatly appreciated uh no long outro we'll see you on the flip side peace